Hi Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today we are going to be talking about flippers and what makes a good one versus what makes a really bad one. We'll start with the bad one first. To me, in my opinion, the worst flippers are those flippers that kind of hook forward because when you go down to press the flipper or when you go down to uh, light switch the flipper, meaning pulling it back, you are going to hurt yourself with that little hook at the front. Now, there's only one real knife company that does this to an extreme degree and that is Hindura Knives. Some of their new stuff doesn't really have that and I and I think their flippers are more like this guy, which is an improvement. But those are, in my opinion, the worst kind of flipper taps. The best kind of flipper taps are the kind that kind of sweep back a little bit. So when you go up and then sweep back a little bit, you have the nicer placing, you have a nicer placement of your finger or the meat of your finger right here. It goes here, and then you can nicely push it down for a push button kind of opening, which is what I like to do and what I prefer in my flippers. Another thing about a really good flipper is having jimping. So sometimes you get flippers that are kind of underdone where it doesn't have any jimping. So as a result, sometimes when you go to pull it back, it might just slip off your fingers. This has happened a few times with this guy. This is the CRKT Razor Cliff. Granted, this is a much, much cheaper knife. This is about $30. This is about 220 ish This is about another 220 So keep that in mind. So if you don't have any jimping, what happens is you can definitely uh, slip your finger off. And uh, sometimes when you have the sharpness, the edge of the blade up too close to the edge of the handles here, you might actually slowly cut yourself a little bit. It doesn't happen here, but it can happen. The best kind of flippers have this kind of jimping right here. And the jimping can vary in size. You can have relatively wide jimping that you see here, or you can have relatively close jimping that you see here. Another great flipper design is jimping that is chamfered and rounded on the edges. So I don't know if you guys can see here, but this is very slightly rounded around the edges. It is also because of uh, the stonewash finish on the blade that you get this nice soft edges that we have here. So that just means that we get the grip, but we don't get the tearing nature of uh, of sharp jimping. One good example is this guy. This is a paraffin lightweight, and then the jimping here is not rounded, so you do get very sharp edges that uh, is great for grip. So if you're wearing gloves or you kind of, you're the kind of guy that needs a lot of grip, this is gonna be great for you. But if you're doing it kind of barehanded, you're gonna develop some calluses, which is fine if you wanna do that thing, but uh, if you don't want sharp edges, you're going to want to find one with chamfering or rounding on the edges. The ZT-0450CF has, in my opinion, the best flipper design. It has pretty good jimping, but it is relatively well spaced uh, compared to other jimping that you see here. This is the Protect Malibu. It is also both chamfered and rounded on the edges. So couple that with a great detent. This guy is great for light switching it, putting it back. It's also great for push button kind of, kind of action. So that is really great. Uh, next video, we are going to be talking about opening holes and what makes a good one versus what makes a bad one. Thanks, guys. And as always, stay ready.